Hey pregnant moms, this is Dr. Linda Burke Galloway, author of The Smart Mother's Guide to a Better Pregnancy and Board Certified ob -GYN. Today I want to talk to you about postpartum preeclampsia, delayed postpartum preeclampsia, not postpartum depression, postpartum preeclampsia. So many people are aware of what preeclampsia is. It's a condition associated with pregnant women. It's associated with high blood pressure, protein in the urine, sometimes, headache, and blurry vision, sometimes. When all of those symptoms show up in a pregnant woman, the diagnosis is very easy to make. Boom, she has preeclampsia, we admit her, we start her on mag sulfate, and we deliver the baby. But there is also um, a condition involving preeclampsia that is what we call in medicine atypical. You can have preeclampsia after you have the baby, and this is where we run into problems in terms of making the correct diagnosis. And in medicine, if you can't recognize the problem, we can't treat it. You have to see it in order to treat it. So, if you have had a baby, let's say within the first six weeks, uh, post what we call postpartum, let's say uh, you had a baby three weeks ago, you develop a headache, it's awful, you can't get rid of it, although you've taken multiple pills, multiple brands of medicine, you finally have to end up going to the emergency room where they call a doctor, they do your blood pressure, and they take your blood pressure, excuse me, and it is abnormal, really off the wall, and then they want to call in the ER doc or a non-OB person to treat it wrong. If you are within that period, that six week period, they need to rule out preeclampsia, especially if you have high blood pressure and you have some uh, protein in the urine. The other case scenario is if, same thing, if you had a baby within three weeks, four weeks, and all of a sudden you develop a seizure, you've never had seizures before, you go to the emergency room, they contact the neurologist. That's only half of the team that should be present. Your obstetrician or even a high risk specialist such as a maternal fetal medicine specialist should also be contacted because you could be exhibiting signs of what we call eclampsia, which means that you've had preeclampsia and your blood pressure is so high that now you've had a stroke. So what's the deal with preeclampsia? Why is it so dangerous? It's dangerous because you can have a stroke and women who have strokes sometimes die. Your kidneys can be severely damaged as a result of preeclampsia, and I can go on and on. And for those of you who really want a lot of information about preeclampsia, you can contact the Preeclampsia Foundation, or you can check out my book, Smart Mother's Guide to a Better Pregnancy. In summary, if you have had a baby and your blood pressure is really, really high, or you have had a seizure within that first six week time period, you definitely need to call your doctor or your healthcare provider. You definitely need to go to the hospital and an obstetrician needs to be there to check you out to make sure that you don't have preeclampsia. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, please remember that a healthy pregnancy doesn't just happen. It takes a smart mom that knows what to do. Peace and blessings.